Good morning. Happy Monday. A happy Monday. A happy Monday to your baby. Yes. Happy Monday, you guys. Thank you for tuning in with me with for another video. Um, like, share, comment. Comment, comment, comment. I do love interacting with you guys. You just don't know. Okay. Like, share, comment, subscribe. How can I forget that one? I think that's the most important one out of all of them. Besides watching it till the end. Yes. Watching it till the end is like so important to me because I, I ramble and so I need you to watch it because I'm gonna get to my point eventually look thank you again you guys look here I had an interesting weekend a very interesting weekend um I open a weekend I you know personally I feel that a day is not wasted when you um, turn my light on, I think I need some. Yeah, I feel that your day is not wasted if you learn something. OK, if you learn something or if you achieve something, it can be anything um, small as making a decision or just being enlightened on things in your life that you may have been avoiding or you may not have been really, um, yeah, avoiding. Yeah, because a lot of times we know that we need to do certain things and we know that uh, certain things need to change. But we just we we, we just we just don't want to deal with it. And I was watching. Um, I can never say her name right. So excuse me, I, Ayana. And um, it, an old video, okay, an old one of her old sh uh, uh, episodes of one of her shows of Fix My Life. I just was going through some uh, t uh, through through my TV, and anyway, uh, went on uh, on demand, and I just went to own, and it just I I was led there. And I was scrolling and scrolling. And I just was led to this one particular episode. And it was like it was meant for me to see that. A lot of times we hold on to things and uh, mistakes that we made. And sometimes we, we, we hold on to it and we, we dwell on it and we try to get it out of our mind of a particular mistake we made or a decision we made. We... We, we try to cope with it and live through it and not think about it. But it always comes up. We, we keep thinking about it and we keep thinking about it. Everybody else is thinking about it. And who else uh, heard about it? And did the family members hear about it or did some friends hear about it? Or what do they think of me now? And now they're going to even think this of me. And they already think that of me. Now they're going to be thinking this of me. And. And she was saying, bump that. OK, she was saying, forgive yourself. You did not forgive yourself if you keep thinking about it. And people are going to think whatever they're going to want to think of you anyway. We can't change it. That's something that we can't change. We can't change other people's thoughts, other people's actions. If you she, we, she was actually talking about. Um, this one particular person, um, was having issues with, with, with her mother. Okay. And there was a lot of things in her past and her childhood that she, uh, has been carrying on with her because this is on the show. The girl was, um, molested by her uh, mother's boyfriend and she went to her mother and when she was younger and she and she told her mother and then the mother didn't believe her or I'm thinking she probably did but didn't want to you know deal with it but the mother in return blamed her well you know you shouldn't have been 
you know, walking around like this, or you shouldn't, you know, you should have had your robe on, you know, just whatever. I mean, she didn't actually say that, but that's basically what she was saying. The mother was saying little things uh, to her, making her feel like it was her fault that she was uh, disrespected in, um, uh, in, in that way, in that manner. Now, her and her mother's relationship is not where she wants it to be but they 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 are you know they they do talk and everything and she was telling ayana that she she wanted to talk to her mother and get some answers and ayana said these answers are not going to she said what you need to do and not just for that situation but overall and as people and i'm i'm making it a general thing sometimes we just have to figure out a way to let go and if we can't forgive ourselves, if we tell ourselves, OK, you know, if we try to forgive ourselves, but we still think about it, we still dwell on it. Then really we haven't we haven't forgiven ourselves and we can't control other people's actions and other people's feelings and other people's thoughts. And then she back to the girl. She was telling the girl, even if you talk to your mother, even if she tells you her her part of how she feel about certain things or whatever you can't change your mother's feelings and her thoughts though that's not your business her feelings and her thoughts are not your business and i kind of made that in a general sense it's not my business how somebody else feel about me that's their feelings their thoughts that's them they own that i so I'm saying that to say this because I'm going through that, actually. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of times um, as people, we can be so down on ourselves. And um, we are our worst enemy. We are our worst enemy. And we have to learn how to move on with life and let go of some of the things that keeps us down. Okay. And we have to start looking at our stuff, uh, so we can make changes, you know? And, um, like I'll be telling my daughter and my cousin, uh, I haven't talked to her in a couple of weeks, but, um, that I'm going crazy. I'm actually feel like I'm losing my mind. Okay. And um, it's because my house is not organized the way I want it to be, you know, and um, it's so overwhelming until I just don't know how to start cleaning it up. I'm not what I mean by cleaning up is start. I don't know where to start. And that's the same thing we do in our our, our life, in our personal stuff. We have so much baggage that we're carrying and so many things that we're fighting through within ourselves that we don't even know where to begin, where to begin. And so I was really listening to her and we just have to just release. We just have to release. And we just have to do it. And a lot of times, and listening to Ayana, and I know this to be a fact, and she just gave me confirmation, and I know I talked about this on another video, that a lot of times we don't want to take that first step. The first step is always the hardest. We don't want to take the initiative. We don't want to take the initiative. Because it's hard. It's hard. It's just like starting a diet. You know you can do it. You know what you need to do. You know where... I, I hate saying diet. But with your eating... If you're overeat, you know that you're eating too many potato chips. You know you don't need all them donuts. You know you don't need all those things. If you were just to stop that. And don't worry about time. 
Because time is going to, if they say, well, it's going to take you a year to lose this, who cares? Because even if you don't do it, even if you don't make those changes, that year is going to go by anyway. So take that first initiative and take it one day at a time. And then when you look up, because these years go by so fast. Look at it. We're already in October. Tomorrow. Look how fast this year went by. We are already at the end of the year. The last quarter of the year. We're at the last quarter of the year. What have we done those, these past 10 months? 10, 11, 12, 9 months or 10 months. What have we done? What could we have achieved in these? It went by so fast. Taking that first initiative, that first step towards your happiness is the hardest, but we can do it. We can do it. And it's, it comes to the point, like she said, how bad do you want it? How bad do you want this change? How bad do you want to be happy? How bad do you want to be healed? How bad do you want to feel better? Like, do you really want to feel better or do you really want to just be miserable? Do you really want to be sad? Do you really want to be uncomfortable? Do you, I mean, like, we complain and complain and complain and complain about things, but we don't do anything about it. So why are we complaining? Why are we complaining if we're not going to do anything about it? Apparently, if you're complaining, then you know something wrong. You know you you know it ain't right because you complain it. So you see it. Now we need to make that first step. And so I, I was really thinking about that. And I was like, wow, because I'd be complaining about, about my room in my house. I'd be complaining and complaining and complaining. I have my spare room. And I'm like, I woke up this morning. I said, I ain't, nope. This is it. This weekend, I'm going, I don't care. I'm going to go in that room and start going through some stuff and getting rid of some stuff. Clean my house inside and out. And what I mean by inside is me. Out is my physical home. Okay, but inside, it's me. Mm-hmm. It's me. And we have to do that sometimes, you guys. And it is hard. It is really hard. And another thing. A lot of times. We can lash out at people. Say things to people. That we really don't mean. But we say it because. Remember I always tell you guys. When I be telling you guys. Not to. Frown up and. And, and 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 be all frowned up and all this because you feeling the way you feeling. Okay. Sometimes, a lot of times, people feel a certain way within themselves. Okay. And they see you happy. Or they see you moving up in life. Or they see you achieving the things you want to achieve. They see you moving. They see progress within you. That they wish that they can have for themselves. So they say little things to lash out at you. To knock you down a few pegs. A lot of times the people will attack you. And attack your character. Not because that's how they really feel. It's because they, don't want, they want you to feel. And want you to be in a place where they're at in their life so there's a lot of times we have to turn the other cheek and not listen to people you know and sometimes we can be a type of person that now like with me and I, I i be wondering like why do i care about how somebody feel about me like 
Are they paying my bills? Are they keeping me afloat every month? Are they doing something for me that's making me, helping me cohabitate through life? Why do I care about how they feel about me? And I had to ask myself that. What matters is how I feel about me. Because half the time a person be feeling a certain way about you, and you kick back and look at them, you be like, they got their nerves to even judge me, to even judge anyone and look at themselves. I'm telling you, that show I watched and the things that she was, Ayana, and the things that she was saying to her guests, I took it a little bit further and internalized it with myself. I said, well, I'm going to talk about this on my channel. Okay. Love yourself. Who cares what somebody want to say about you? Who cares if they don't like you? Because at the end of the day, just like at work, Let's talk about, let's just do that. Work or school. If people don't like you, and I'm just doing that to make it more general. If somebody don't like you, who cares? Because at five o'clock, when that whistle blow, okay, like Fred Flintstone do, he grab his hat. He jump off his, his little old truck thing, okay. And he be running out of that doggone job, running home to Betty, running home to the person that matters. Y'all ever watched the Flintstones? When he when when that whistle blow, Fred jump off. He honey, he punch out. He get his little rock thing and stick it in the thing to punch out. He hop in that car. And he fly home. It don't matter. At the end of the day, it don't matter. What matters is how we feel about ourselves. And if we don't like certain things about ourselves, and I said this before, then we need to make those changes so we can be a better person. Because this is only the only life that we have. And we already, we don't know our time. Our time is already written down. I don't know when my time is, but it's already written down. Our time is written down. We have a birth date and an end date, a death date. What matters is that dash in between sunrise. She was born 1966. Sunset is that end date. What matters is what we did in that dash. What did we do from that date to this date? What did we do in our life? Did we go travel? Did we mistreat people? Did we have a good heart? Were we kind to people? Were we forgiving? Did we forgive ourselves for the mistakes we made? Did we keep making those same mistakes? What did we do in that dash? How did our dash go? The dash in between those two dates. How did we do in that dash? Did we do anything to make ourselves happy? Did we really live our life? Did we travel? Did we explore? <coughs> Excuse me. Were we good to people? Did we forgive? Were we dishonest? What did we do in that dash? That's it, you guys. 
We have to make our dash in between matter. And that's it, you guys. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I hope that you guys work on one attribute that you don't like about yourself. I hope you work on one thing at a time. Don't do everything because you'll be overwhelmed. Work on one thing. Work on one attribute. One day at a time, one attribute at a time. Learn how to release. Take a deep breath. Look at each day as a new day. The mistake you made yesterday, think about it. Do, you know, but don't dwell on it. And just don't do it again. Just don't make that mistake into to being your character. She always do this. That's what she do all the time. No, make your mistake and move forward. Don't make, don't turn your mistake into your everyday character of that's what you do. Okay, that's it, you guys. That's it. I'm not going to, I'm not going to keep talking about it. Okay, I'm not going to keep talking about it. Today is Monday. I want you guys to have a good day. Yes, we are alive. We woke up this morning. In our right mind, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. We woke up in our right mind. We didn't wake up outside naked, running up and down the street because we didn't lost our mind. We was able to get up out of our bed. We didn't wake up and like, I can't move. We got our limbs. We didn't wake up paralyzed. Okay. Nobody broke into our home. We was, we was protected. We was protected through the blood of Jesus. No fires broke out and no robbers broke in. We got a lot to be thankful for. We got a lot to be thankful for, you guys. We have to be thankful for the little things that we have. That's the only way. We're going to get more things. It's the first. Be thankful for the little things that we have. Be thankful for where we are right now. Okay? Because we could be somewhere else. We have to be thankful for what we have right now and where we are right now. And be thankful that we're not where we could be. Okay? You feel me now? What I always say before I end my videos, hold your head up. Hold it up. <sighs> Take a deep breath. Hold your chest out. Okay? Don't be walking around with your head hung low, face all frowned up, twisted all up. Looking at people all any old kind of way because you are feeling the way you are feeling. It ain't nobody's fault that you are feeling the way you're feeling. And it ain't nobody's been there. Look, been there. That you, what you feeling. Ain't they been there? Look, ain't they been there? Okay. It ain't for them to know. Okay. Smile anyway. It'll make you feel better. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.